newly scrutinized podcast revealing how Trump supporters in Wisconsin tried, but ultimately failed, to overturn the election results in their state. It's one of seven states where Team Trump, led by Rudy Giuliani, tried to pull this off. It's all super secret for security reasons, so we met in a secret location. We waited for almost an hour before they took us to the state capitol. That's Bill Fian, one of 10 Republican electors who signed the certificate of the 2020 electors. They declared Donald Trump won Wisconsin's electoral votes. The problem, Trump lost. But that didn't stop these wannabe Republican electors. Fian, in a deleted Facebook post, snapped a photo of himself and others in the meeting as they met secretly with guards to protect them. Fian also detailed this a year ago in his newly scrutinized podcast. There was security, armed security to protect us, and other officials from the Republican Party of Wisconsin were there. We had a meeting room reserved, and that's where we met to cast our ballots in the Electoral College. Each of us cast a ballot for President of the United States, and we cast a ballot for vice president of the United States. In the event that something would transpire legally here where the outcome in Wisconsin would be reversed, then our ballots would be sent to Washington, D.C., and those would be the ballots that get counted. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And a country without law and order, a country that doesn't have a free and fair election, a country that does not have a peaceful transition of power is not a democracy. It's not a republic. It's a dictatorship. Now, some folks might want to be ruled under a dictatorship, and for them, I tell them to go to North Korea, go to Syria, move to Russia, China, Saudi Arabia, but don't you dare call yourselves an American or worse yet, a patriot, because you are neither. And I'll be damned if I sit silent and let you destroy the greatest democracy in the history of the world, the United States of America. I took an oath to the United States of America and to support and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that oath stays with me to the day I die. If you were a real loser, or as a kid, you took your ball and ran wee, wee, wee all the way home and started your own game with other losers and crybabies because you had no chance of competing in a civilized world. Playing make-believe was your only chance to come out a winner, and you were too much of a coward to take your losses on the chin and accept reality. Many of us wondered where you all went in life, and we found out on January the 6th, 2021, you had all become LARPers trying to play Braveheart while scaling walls at our nation's capital with a staircase 10 feet to your left. But I guess the saying is true. Some people never grow up, namely Trump Republicans. All over the country, fake Republican electors gathered in secret corridors to draw up electoral ballots with their little fascist savior name on top. Those scraps of paper were utterly meaningless other than a trip to the outhouse. I'm going to the inauguration for Trump. I've booked it before the election because I have faith he's going to be there and he's going to be do he's going to be elected. So he'll be president for two more weeks. No, he will be president till 2024. This story would be hilarious if not for the fact that the GQP followers are helpless, mindless slaves to the will of the all-powerful Orange Master. Actually, the story details the sickness, the rotting decay of intellectual integrity of our country and the hideous, festering boil of democracy that is today's Republican Party. Fake electors? That is the absolute left field Hail Mary of a plot to seize power by force any way they can. And if you think the attack on voting rights is not a serious threat, this story should open your eyes. There are no limits to what the Republican Party will try to destroy the democracy and install a fascist dictatorship. Never in my life did I think I would like to see a di dictator, but if there's going to be one, I want it to be Trump. The Republicans have known for years that they can beguile a segment of the population to vote for them with some weak arguments, but it wasn't until Donald Trump came onto the scene that it was slowly discovered that they don't even need an argument at all. They have their base eating out of their hand, cooing like pigeons at the words guns, gays, and abortion. They'll let you pick their pockets clean. They'll let you stain everything our country stands for. They'll let you rip away your freedoms, and they'll let you imprison them in a third world cult of personality. The can of worms has been opened, and the only thing that's going to stop them is waking up and remembering what this country is truly about. The upcoming midterms are going to be monumental on the issue of voting rights and the integrity of American identity. Republicans are showing their hand, and if they get the majorities, they're going to ram through fascist legislation to steal away the vote from people and anoint Republican legislatures to choose election winners with no regard whatsoever to the results of the vote. That is their strategy, people. 
The cat is out of the bag. What happens this fall will set the stage for 2024 and for the history of this country. And it's time to get involved. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.